Sure found another one. There's one. Uh-oh, not looking good. Hello everybody, hope everybody's having a great day. Well, me and Kyle's gotta change this tire on this irrigation that's uh, not looking too good. So uh, yeah, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to our channel, give this video a like, and let's get started. All right, release the tire. Thank you. Jim, toss me the cold ball. All right, you got it. There we go. Let me get that cobalt, please. Okay, we got the tire on. We were going to get this pivot rolling to get the fertilizer in the ground good, but we ended up getting a pretty good rain here last night. Uh, a couple tents, not a huge rain, but enough to get the fertilizer in the ground. So, win-win, we don't have to crank up the pivot. All right, let's see what else we can get into. We got the tire dropped off here. Um, my father owns the chemical feed store. You guys know about that. But we also have a uh, tire store that a uh, good buddy John owns called Town Tire and Marine. So if you guys are local, Greenwood, Malone, Mariana area, and you need a tire fixed or irrigation tire, anything like that on your vehicle, doesn't matter. Check them out. Hello, hello. Hi. Where are you girls headed? Ellie Rose, the time. The dentist. Oh, hey, Ellie. Cool sunglasses. Thanks. Blenders. Bye. Bye. Bye, Atlin. Okay, I'm headed to a pivot we've got now. We're putting out some nitrogen on some cotton. I'm gonna check on it, make sure she's doing good. Then I'm gonna head, jump on the spreader buggy, and me and Kyle's gonna tag team the cotton. We're in the last field of cotton, and then we're done with cotton fertilizer for the year. So we can get the buggies cleaned up and get them put under the shed, get them oiled down good, spray them down with some diesel and oil so they don't rust away. And yeah, that's what I got going on. Check our John Blue pump, make sure she's turning. So this pump pumps all the nitrogen out of this tank, goes through the hose, and then it goes to the hose all the way into the well. to spread and fertilizer i'm in the field that two videos ago keithy was spraying and you can tell it killed all the grass the nut grass is not working on it too well but there's the old orange spots is where it's working on it got a huge bottom right there we will not be able to go through or maybe i should go through it yeah i better turn it around well you guys have seen plenty of footage of us spreading cotton fertilizer why don't we go check on jeff see what he's up to how about it jeff What's up everybody, here we are, we're out here in uh, one of our dry land fields and we're spraying the peanuts today. Um, it's been about a month since these peanuts have actually been sprayed because of all the rain that we've been getting and we're supposed to have a good week, a good dry week this week. So, 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 so we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that we continue to have that dry week. Um, we're using the Cadillac of all fungicides today and that would be a latest. And a latest is good for white mold, leaf spots. I mean, it just, it's all around good for it all. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why don't we use that every time? Well, it's a little pricey. Alright guys, so it's after lunch and um, we got rain moving in, so we're going to hold off on spraying right now. Uh, the latest has has to have a four hour dry time, so we're just going to hold up, kind of see what it does. In the meantime, we're going to go, or we're actually here, to fix the gate that I uh, destroyed earlier. Got tangled up in the sprayer. It's not pretty. So, we got our new gate right there. 
and we're gonna swap them out real quick. All right, guys, so we got the new gate up. Can't even tell something happened here. Hi. Hi, everybody. It's been a while since I've been on the, the videos, but Daddy wanted me to come out here and check on these peanuts. We're, we're afraid we've got worms in them. So let's check it out. So what you first want to do is take your hand and just start slapping the peanuts like this. Daddy said what we're looking for is little green worms or little hairy caterpillars. Let's see if we found anything. Nothing yet. You can tell where they've been eating on them. Look at that. It's either that or somebody's been out here with a magnifying glass using the sun to burn a hole in them. <laughs> this here's the last field of peanuts they planted. Um, walk over here to a different spot. We'll see if we can find some more worm. Don't see anything yet. I don't see anything yet. Haven't found the first one. Airplane! Y'all look. Wonder what he's going to. Let's drive to a different spot and see if we can find some, some more worms. Walk out here and slap them one more time. Look at that. Shadow's all in the way. Dang it. That, I think, is one of them bad boys. Is that a tomato back a tomato back a budworm? Or maybe that's just a looper. Heck, I don't know. Look at him. Usually the loopers are more green. He done pooped on me. <laughs> Look at him. He just making himself at home. Goodbye. We found another one. There's one. Oh, there's another one. I might as well go ahead and call Daddy and tell him to get the spray ready. There's one. Dang it, bit me. Ouch. Hey, Dad. Yeah, we got quite the infestation, looks like. We probably need to spray them. Well, there, are, there definitely are worms out here. So now it's whether we should spray them or not. That's one of the challenges of farming is do you spend the money? Or do you not? And then you wake up and you come to your peanut field and there's not a there's not a leaf on the plant because the daggum worms came in here overnight and decided to have all you could eat buffet. <laughs> Let's check one more spot. Dang it! Jim's gonna be mad at me. Broke his camera. I think we're good. We'll jump over here to another section. It's pretty wet right here. Actually, a lot of wet. Daddy said check a bunch of different spots. This field's 145 acres, so we need to make sure we can do a good job. We'll check up under the pivot. Stop. All right, let's check this one more spot. Let's see what we got. Oh goodness, one, two, three. That's a big one. Somebody bring the besiege. What I wanna do now, and I hope this is all right. I've wrote a country song that I think just may be one of the best farming country songs maybe ever written. I'm gonna play it now for you guys. It's a rough demo, but um, I'm kind of concerned somebody might hear it, like a Rascal Flats or Diamond Rio, and rob it for me. But let's go ahead and play it now. This song is called No More Rain. Raining 
all day, it's been raining all night. The weather man said there's no end in sight. Right, weather, WKFR, and I tell you what, we've got a wet, wet weekend ahead of us. It's gonna rain every day. Washing away all my chemical sprays. Washing away, take my money away. Well, you can't keep a farmer happy, it's either too wet or too dry. And my day started out just perfect until I got Bravo in my eye. But it's burning, I gotta keep the wheels turning on this part of soggy sand. Oh no, I got another tractor stuck, I better grab my chain and pray for no more. Hopefully you guys like that song. I'm planning to add a second verse and rework that chorus a little bit, but I'm just too excited. I want to show you guys what, I, what I've been working on. All right, let's head to the cotton field, a dry land cotton. I'm gonna show you some of it, and then we'll wrap this thing up. Jim gave me the camera. He's all frolicking at the beach, so let's have some fun. All right, here we are in our cotton field dry land cotton looks amazing next gen 5711 yes let's go check it out i mean get plenty of rain that's for sure and man look at all this Woo -wee. chest high chest high almost reaching my booby <laughs> it's five degrees cooler down there than it is up here wow florida dry land cotton make make that your picture uh that that can make the cover of cotton grower successful farming go ahead and screenshot that and make that your uh cover photo i won't even charge you <laughs> all right everybody well guess that's gonna be it for the video appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you guys are new to the channel i'm jim's identical twin brother and uh i'm glad he let me be on the channel again um Finally got off his high horse, and I guess I want to give somebody else a little piece of the pie. But anyway, hope everybody has a good day, and keep it in the field roads.